Hi, hope you are doing good. Uh, so today we are going to start module four, tracking radar. So this is the syllabus of module four. Okay, so part one is tracking radar, and uh, part two is sequential loping and contour scan. Okay. So in uh, part one we have tracking. What is tracking radar? Okay, and then types of tracking radar systems. In that. Uh, monopulse and then we'll see what is angle uh, tracking okay in that we have the first category like the first type of tracking uh, method is monopulse tracking under monopulse tracking we have two subcategories one is amplitude comparison and then one is phase comparison so that is part one second part is the next type of tracking method that is sequential lobbing and uh, the next third method is conical scan tracking. Okay, so these, and then finally we'll see what is a comparison. So this is a very interesting module, and then it's not like too lengthy, uh, and you don't have uh, many derivations and all of these in this module. Okay, and then another good thing is it is only part uh, chapters one, two, three of the fourth chapter. So basically, it's just three chapters which is like very less okay so let's start with what is tracking now so till now we have been learning about uh, finding uh, the probability of detection false alarm and then in the previous uh, topics that is module two we saw how uh, uh, range uh, can be found out right so basically we were targeting on uh, predict, predicting the target, detecting the target. Sorry. So detecting where the target is present, right? So apart from that, we were not finding anything else, right? And another uh, disadvantage of continuous wave radar and all was it it does it just gives the information of a, a FD that is Doppler frequency, but nothing about what is the range, right? So we were not finding what is the range. So now tracking radar is something which measures the coordinates of the targets. That is coordinates in the sense, the location of the target. So the location comprises uh, two angles. So one is azimuth angle and one is uh, elevation angle. Okay. So these two angles has to be found out. Other thing is it has to uh, provide the data. Uh, which may be used to determine the target path. That is the trajectory of the target. That is axis, right? So, and then, and the major thing is, uh, with all these information, it should also predict its future information. So it should keep the target in track all the time so that the future position is predicted. So this is what a tracking radar should do. So the definition is, the radar which is used is track the path of one or more targets not just one right can tra track many targets is known as tracking radar so in general it performs the following function so what all are the functions we just discussed about it so these things itself i'll just put it as points so one is target detection which we have been talking about in the previous markets right so probability of detection so probability of false alarm so all these we have been discussing so this uh, is what we already know. Apart from target detection, it should find range of the target, and then it should find the elevation at azimuth angle. Range of the target will give you what is the distance from the radar to the target. Elevation and azimuth angles is nothing but the coordinates of the target. So it will give you the location of the star, right? And then finally find the Doppler frequency shift also, correct? so that you know it is uh, coming towards you or away from you or which inclination and so on. And uh, yeah, so it, this, as I said, radar should always continue to observe the target over time. So it should keep track of this target so that it gets the target's trajectory and then hence predict its position in the future also, okay? So this is what a basic tracking radar should do and what uh, is the definition of track tracking radar. Uh, now, this is a block diagram which I've got. Uh, it is not there in the syllabus. You don't have to learn this block diagram, okay? So, you this is just for you to understand where exactly this tracking would come into picture. So, this is something which you are aware of, that is the target. 
and the antenna, right? Now this is the transmitting part and then the receiver is put into one block which you all know that will be comprising of the LNA mixer, IF stage, envelope detector, everything. And then if you want to digitize the signal, you have to keep a AD converter. And then the signal processing part where you do the Doppler processing for FT. And then you will have the detection process. Here comes the tracking part. So parameter estimation and tracking. So maybe you still have doubts what exactly this block will do. So let's go into deep. So this whole module is based on this part. Okay, so this lecture, so this part, okay. So we're talking about tracking, which is outside these, right? So this is what a basic uh, antenna would do, radar. So this, whatever you say is what it is, a, it is a radiation pattern. So radiation pattern of a directive antenna, but then all the antennas are not ideal. It has side lobes, right? So these are the side lobes. So this is the target. So this is just one beam, okay? So this one beam is completely directed towards our target. And now whatever you see here are the various things which could be predicted. But then our module is focusing on these three things, okay? So it's basically finding the location. So location in the sense it should find azimuth angle, elevation angle and range. Now you might have still doubts on what is these two angles. Um, we have studied about these two in our previous semester antennas, right? The theta and phi part. So I'll just give you a, a brief on these two again. Range you already know, it is the distance from this to this, right? It is also called a slant uh, range, okay? So the distance from the transmitting radar and to the target. So these things we are not focusing on this module. So we'll be focusing on this, how to find the location azimuth elevation and the range, okay? So this is basically what a antenna would do. Now, this is a picture where you will have, you'll clear your doubts about the elevation and the azimuth angle. So this three dimensions you are aware of, correct? So this is X, Y, and Z. This is the rectangular coordinate system. Basically, we convert this to spherical coordinate system when we come, up, uh, come to the analysis of antennas. So in that case, we have r theta phi, correct? So if this is the point of observation, imagine this is the point of observation. In that case, this becomes r. So from the 0, 0, 0 position to that is midpoint. So this is where usually the antennas would be kept, correct? Uh, the assumption is the antenna is at the midpoint, middle of the center of the coordinate system. So 0, 0, 0. So from here, this is the antenna position. So from here to this point, so this distance is nothing but your R, which is the range. Now this axis, that is Z axis, this is the axis, if suppose you imagine a dipole antenna, it would be kept in this axis, correct? Like this, centered around, centered at this point. So this axis is zero degree for elevation, that is theta equal to zero, right? So this angle is elevation angle. So from here till towards your direction of, uh, trajectory of the uh, target, right, axis. And then you have this axis that is x, z, phi equal to zero. So this is azimuth angle. So from, so when you project this towards x, y plane, and then you join the center, the angle from this x axis, that is phi equal to zero towards this point, this angle will be your azimuth angle. So can you predict the position of this target with only one angle, either phi, either phi or theta? No, you need both these coordinates because it's a three dimensional uh, measurement, right? So you need both elevation, elevation and azimuth angle information in order to, and then this, correct? No, so R, theta, phi. So these three will give you the exact location of your target, fine? So tracking radar has to do this job, fine? So this, uh, this uh, figure gives you a more uh, detailed uh, view on these three. So imagine this is your target. So this is an aeroplane which is shown here. So from the midpoint, that is your position where your antenna is kept. So this distance is called a slant range. That is your capital R. Ignore this deep, okay? So this is nothing but your capital R. And then, so uh, 
just from towards the top would be your z axis right so from that towards your this angle would be your elevation correct so this angle is your elevation and then this this plane that is north south plane so this angle will be your azimuth angle correct yeah so these three are something which we need for in order to find the coordinates of the target or the location of the target the three parameters of tracking are once again it's a range that is a distance from the transmitting antenna towards the target next is the azimuth and the elevation angle in order to find the yes the direction as well as the location right and then we also need the drift velocity of the object object or the target this is nothing but fd that is doppler frequency okay now this figure again this is not something you have to draw for a video exam or your any exams uh, related to the subject but then this will give you a idea on what exactly tracking radar is going to do so just uh, assume this is your radar antenna and then there is a block called radar this radar block consists of everything okay receiver every part of the receiver right so let it be the combination of uh, and uh, transmitter as well as well as receive okay so leave it this is this part so this is what is the uh, idea behind the tracking radar part the angle error and the servo motor so imagine um, one second yeah imagine this so here you have one beam right so imagine you now you have this antenna is exactly pointing to this beam sorry this target so it is detecting the target correct imagine this beam is not the target is somewhere else and this beam is here okay or the target is here and the beam is somewhere else so is the uh, radar pointing to the correct direction no so there will be so this is the axis of your beam right and then the target is somewhere here so that is the target axis so there is a difference in angle between the target axis and the your beam which is sent by the radar so that difference is called as angle error so what is your aim your aim is not to have any angle error so the angle error should be zero okay so your aim is to reduce this angle error and then align your uh, antenna beam direction to the target uh, uh, axis okay so the target axis and your beam axis should be the same it should align so that is your aim okay so continuously the radar should uh, track the uh, track the target and then get the angle error information and then this is con connected to a servo motor closed loop servo motor system you can see it's a feedback okay so closed loop servo motor system which will move the position of antenna in two ways what are those two ways azimuth and elevation so one is phi one is phi direction and one is theta direction so in both the ways the servo motor is going to move this angle antenna so that the angle error becomes zero so this is the basic logic behind the tracking radar okay so this logic is going to be applied in this com complete module so there is a closed loop servo motor system okay feedback so there is a feedback which will continuously change the um, position of the antenna in two angle two coordinates sir, correct so one is theta and one is phi okay and then uh, it continuously monitors what is the angle error so this happens until the angle error becomes zero that means the axis of the target is aligning with the axis of the radiated beam from the radar okay so this is the basic aim of tracking radar so uh, this module has three types of tracking methods the first one is sequential lobbing second one is conical scan and third one is monopulse tracking we'll be looking monopulse tracking first and then come to these two so these three are the tracking methods which we'll be going through okay so uh, yeah um next topic is types of so this is actually the first uh, topic in your syllabus so what are the four types of tracking radar systems so first type is single target tracker second is adt third is phased array radar tracking fourth is track wide scan okay so this is the first topic so i'll just brief you about these uh, four topics in the next video 
because if the video is too long, it takes so long to upload in YouTube. So I'll uh, conclude here. So in the next video, I'll give you the explanation of these four uh, tracking radar systems. Okay. So thank you. Um, I'll just uh, upload this in YouTube. Please go through all the videos. Okay. And uh, I have already handled this in online class as well. So those have missed the online class can ask me doubts later. Okay. Looking at these videos. Thank you.